All right. What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back. So first things first, I got rid of the 30 second delay so that hopefully I can have a little bit more interaction with you guys as you're chatting with me. Excuse me. <clears throat> but that's one of the things that I did that kind of seemed to fix the lag was add that delay. Actually, what I did is I did a number of things and one of them fixed it. So if this proves to be a problem and give me some more lag, then I'll go ahead and add that 30 second delay back in there. Anyway, tonight, we're going to be messing around with the Royal Giant. So, I went ahead and, well, let's see, do some donations here. Oh, yes. Yes, this is my second account. Alright. <clears throat> hey, Jeff, my day's going well. How's your day going? So here's what's going on, guys. I got these uh, Royal Giant decks. So here's one of them that uh, Clash with Ash recommended. I, I showcased it on a video a while ago. It was like my second ever video. And then I think I looked up another one here that became a little bit more popular recently. You see the Furnace and the Fire Spirits and then a few Legendary some support cards. And then there was one more. Oh, yeah, this one. I was just kind of messing around. I'm like, eh, why not try a bait kind of archetype? with the presence of the royal giant in there so i just kind of whipped this up and we'll see i'll have some fun with it later all right so so far so good it looks like the stream's going okay so whatever uh is working is is going to continue to work hopefully and if it doesn't then i'll pause the stream for a minute and switch it up so let's start with this kind of classic one here um let's see just jump on in so the advantage of this thing here, this particular deck, is that it has a lot of like uh, common cards, so it's pretty easy to level up. Ooh, I'm a little bit late with that zap, but better late than never. Um, <clears throat> the only, jeez, I really need to clear my throat. Anyway, the only really legendary in this deck is the log, and of course that's always replaceable with. Well, you already have zap in this particular deck, so it's replaceable with like arrows or something like that not super vital. Then you got the barbarians in there. <clears throat> barbarians aren't very meta right now, but why not, right? Toss them in there, have some fun. Easy to level up because they're easy to get. So that wasn't a very good royal giant because he already had that guy down, but I got my barbarians here to counter his. Guess who's back? Welcome Hoffs. Hardcore burger fan. Thanks, Elementor. Alright, hopefully that'll do it. No, I think not. Maybe I'm catching cold here. That's why my throat's having trouble uh, staying clear. It's that Humboldt crud, right guys? Any of my Humboldt fans? Alright, well I got zapped for his goblin barrel here. Gotta drink my infamous white Powerade. Okay, so at this point I'm going to kind of build up some support, play defense. Got to counter that balloon. Should be easy to take care of, actually. Yeah, let's take care of it. Bleeding elixir there. I'm going to split barbs in the back. I'm not playing so great right now because I'm kind of <coughs> adjusting, you know, the audio and things like that. Humble gang. All right, there we go. So you know all about the Humboldt crud, man, when you get sick throughout the season. Thanks, Jeff. Alright, I'll zap all that. I'll archers to take care of this here. Log the goblin barrel. That'll shut it down. Okay, my royal giant's going to take down the right tower, it looks like. Or maybe get it to within one shot. No, that's good. Alright, awesome. Yeah, shout out to all the humble fellas. Awesome, guys. Shout out to everybody, man. Um, I mean, I get fans. Or not, I don't even want to say fans. Uh, but viewers from all around the world already. It's pretty amazing to see like how diverse my viewer base is. I'm really impressed by that already. So hopefully it only continues to grow. Alright, I'll distract that with the furnace. And that should take care of that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel you. Easy to get sick up here. Get the coastal breeze and all the, you know, um, stuff in the trees, all the pollen and everything, allergens, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I'm lagging. Okay, I think I need to add the 30 second delay again because I'm lagging because last time it wasn't lagging. Let's see, I'm gonna, it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit again, and then if it continues to lag, I'm gonna add that delay. It's not a big deal. It just means I can't interact with you guys as, as quickly. Alright, there we go. Okay, so let's get back in here. So I got the furnace down first. He fireballs it, but he doesn't hit my tower. So, whatever, that's fine. Good for me, right? Cycles this princess in the back. I got a log for that. So, hmm. Ooh, yeah, all barbarians for that P.E.K.K.A. And then I'll log the princess. And all my stuff should take care of that P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully. Yeah, that's that. And for the Executioner... Hmm. I think I'll wait for him to connect to the tower and then put the minions down behind him. Okay, let's see. Furnace here. I'm trying to look, look over at the stream too to see if it's lagging. Uh, looks like it's cleared up a little bit, so... Let me know, guys. Um, how's it looking for you? Does it look also to you as if it's cleared up, or is it? Is it? Oh yeah, I see some lag spikes. How's it looking for you guys? Send in that royal giant. Why not? Oh, Pekka. Okay, Pekka's gonna shut down my royal giant really well. So I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna barbarian over here to kind of distract the P.E.K.K.A. And I'll log this. I'll zap this. <clears throat> okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the uh, feedback. Oh man, I let that P.E.K.K.A. connect to the tower in the meantime. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's see. Probably not the best play for the Royal Giant, but you know, now all his stuff is going to be all grouped up. So I can kind of fireball all that. There we go. I'll take care of that. Or will it? Too busy getting distracted by the stream quality and stuff here, so I'm going to have to kind of put Desperate Royal Giant up here. And I'll zap this. And then I will minions here. Alright, I'm still in the game here because I took out that tower. So as long as I can take out his support. Okay, it's not over yet. Alright, yeah, it's looking to me like the stream is, is kind of clearing up. So if it gets cruddy again, just give me a, a holler and I'll try to fix it if I can. Zap that. Uh oh, Pekka's gonna connect. I think that's GG, guys. Yeah, that's it. Give him a good game. Alright, I gotta pay more attention. Stop looking at the stream. <clears throat> so, another thing to keep in mind is that my Royal Giant is only level 10. Cost 20,000 to upgrade, and I don't have it on this account yet. Alright, let's do a few more with this deck, and then let's switch it up and have some fun with a few other decks. Give him good luck. His name is You Loser. Wonderful. Thank you for the positivity and you know, the good sportsmanship. I love that in the in the game community. Alright, let's see here. Alright, he's got that giant beat down rolling in, so I'm going to go for Furnace here. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully my barbarians can take care of that witch. 
Honestly, I'm probably going to have to fireball this just because it's like, what else do I have? I don't have anything else in hand. i got to put out some damage on it. So now I know that he has a balloon, so I'm going to be saving my archers and my minions for that. How long have I been playing? I've been playing... Hmm, I, like, ever since, like, about six months after it came out. So maybe a year, year and a half now, probably something like that. Oh man, he's getting my tower for sure. Alright, let's see. Did I eat? Well, <clears throat> you guys know I'm a substitute teacher, right? So, um, one of the schools that I sub at, the vice, vice principal there always lays out candy. And it's like, it's free, and you can just imagine, I work with a bunch of school teachers, and this this is not to, meant to be a comment um, on, you know, gender roles, but the reality of my experience is that in the elementary schools, it's predominantly female teachers. I see a majority female teachers. So there's kind of all these ladies, and myself, yours truly, you know, sneaking in there, the teachers getting all this candy that the vice principal leaves out. And I, she caught me one time. She's like, oh, you're raiding my candy drawer. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm taking some for dessert tonight. And she was totally fine with it, so I took advantage of it. Anyway, that's my funny story. All right, I got to get back in the game here. I keep talking in the stream and not paying attention to the game. Yeah, um, I'm a substitute teacher, so I don't work as a, like, really a full-time credential teacher but I just have the permit to fill in for people yeah I've subbed for a lot of my subscribers honestly <laughs> a lot of my starting subscriber base is uh, students of mine Alright, uh, let me get back in the game here, and because this is going to be a terrible stream if I just keep losing. So, let's, let me pay attention to my match here, check the quest. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, um, what's your take on Mega Knight Burger? Uh, let's see. I loved him, but then he got the nerf stick hard. Still solid, but not as strong. Alright, cool. Okay, let's do one or two more with this deck, so I can kind of, you know, better showcase it here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Well, you know, keep in mind that part of the reason that I'm able to be a better teacher is because you only have me, like, one or two days, so I don't have to, um, you know, deal with grading or lesson plans or things like that. I just kind of come in and make sure that you guys don't beat each other up and get some work done and stuff like that. So that allows me to kind of keep a little bit more of a relaxed environment in the classroom. Whereas your permanent teachers, I mean, naturally, I, I don't expect everybody to understand and agree with it, but they kind of have to lay down the law a little bit more and be more strict because they need to make sure that you're going to succeed throughout the whole school year. So hopefully that makes sense to some of my students. Alright, I'm going to ignore the uh, stream chat here for a minute, guys, because I really want to focus on this match and make sure that I do alright. So I'm going to log just to push that back. I'm going to kind of desperate furnace here just because I don't want to take the hog to the tower. Really bad placement of the furnace except for the fact that it did allow me to soak up the hit from the hog, so that worked out well. Alright. At this point, I'm actually going to Royal Giant, and I'm just going to go ahead and start cycling him in there. He logs, probably to get some chip damage on the tower. Ooh, alright. Um, I'm going to zap that. I'll put some archers down here, and the furnace will actually help take care of that. So the beauty of the Royal Giant, of course, is he's super tanky, and he shoots the buildings from afar. And so he only costs 6, so that allows you to invest a lot of elixir into support units. So as you can see there, I just invested 3 more elixir into those archers, and that made a huge difference. Got a ton, a ton of chip damage off on his tower. Alright, let's see. I got the minions in the back here. 
I'm just kind of cycling at this point. Oh, he got all three. That's pretty good. Um, I'll furnace here. The idea of this deck is to be able to level up your cards well, because it's a lot of commons. It's a lot of cards that are easy to level up. So you kind of play relatively passively and play defensively, and then you support your royal giant and send him in when you get a good opportunity. So at this point, he's already got that tower, so I'm not even really worried about him uh, dying to the Inferno Tower. And his balloon just doesn't connect, so that's good for me. Alright, I'll zap all that. I got two light spells in this deck, something I don't normally do, but I did get this deck from another YouTuber. A couple guys were running it a while back. Um, and I think the idea of having two light spells is that you are able to support your Royal Giant more easily, because generally one of the go-to counters for a big tank unit, as most people know, is going to be a Swarm card like Goblin Gang, Minion Horde, Skeleton Army, so on and so forth. So you're able to like log their Goblin Gang and then zap their Skeleton Army if they're running both, like so. Well, the match ended there. Alright, I'll give him a good game. Let me look at the chat here. Alright, thanks guys, I appreciate the uh, um, positive feedback. Do my students ask me to challenge them in class? Yeah, dude, I actually have challenged a few of my students, and a few of them joined my clan. Um, I wouldn't allow just like anybody to join the clan, but the guys that joined, I, um, you know, we had room, and I know that they're good students, and, and they pay attention to school and everything too, so... Um, middle school. Middle school is a fun time, man. It's a it's a big learning experience. So just make sure that you don't worry too much about what other people think, and just you know care about yourself mostly, and and do good in school, do well in school, I should say, because I'm an English major, right? Um, yeah, and just have a good time. Tournaments of my own. Yeah, um, I like that idea, honestly. Uh, I once I get a bigger fan base, I think I will do like a 50-man tournament, and then I'll just post it on like Reddit or whatever to fill up the last few spots, and then stream the whole thing. But right now I don't have a big enough fan base, so if I continue to uh, do well with this channel and stay interested in everything, then I'll keep that up. But for now, let's get back into the match here. Ooh, I missed the prince with the log. That's what I was going for. So this prince connects to my tower, that's not good, but I'll use the barbarians defensively, and the furnace clears that up. So again, I'm going to try to focus on this game here, and not pay too much attention to the uh, stream chat for the next couple minutes. So if I don't respond to whatever you're saying, that is why. Alright, you know, I'm not going to use the RG, I want to make sure that I have the support first. So I'll put another furnace down. Alright, his giant's only level 6. I do out-level them, but, you know, this isn't like... I don't know. It's not the best deck in the meta right now. Like, RG isn't the greatest, and my RG is only level 10. So that's why, again, I trophy dropped for the sake of doing this stream. And as you can see, I was still losing, even though people were two levels lower than me. But that's alright, it happens, you know. I'm just trying to, like, switch it up and play different decks and stuff, so... If you guys didn't check out um, Clash with Ash's video about, like, he kind of gives some insight onto how matchmaking works. So, like, card level has nothing to do with it. It's about, like, your current trophy count and if you've lost three matches in a row and some things like that. So take, take a look at that video uh, if you haven't already. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty helpful. I found it to be quite beneficial. Alright, so here goes the Royal Giant. I'm going to support it with some minions. Um, I'll fireball zap, or fireball log that. Uh-oh. That was terrible. I missed the witch. It's alright. Tower's going down. At this point, I can pretty much just fireball and log it, and that will take care of it. I got the barbarians for the prince here. There we go. Awesome. Good job, barbarians. They're so expensive though, that's the only reason I don't really like them. Like, five elixir is kind of a lot to commit for like a really strong... I mean, that's why though they're really strong, but like a defensive swarm card kind of like that. When Goblin Gang, Guard, Skeleton Army, and all that only cost three. 
Alright, uh, I'll just send in the Royal Giant, and at this point I'm just gonna finish off the tower with the Fireball, and yeah, that's that. Alright, give him a good game. Okay. Alright, good night, Jeff. I'm glad you guys are going to bed, it's getting kinda late here. I remember in high school I would get up at about 7, go to bed at about 11, and it's only, uh, about 10.30 here. So, I'll give you guys some time. <laughs> but most of my students, make sure, all of my students rather, make sure you're getting enough sleep. Okay, guys, that's, I know that that sounds cliche and like the adult telling you what to do, but seriously, guys, that, that makes a big difference in your school and your studies and your day-to-day -day life. So, um, really quickly, I want to show you guys this. Uh, let me switch over here. Okay, so I, I did this post on Reddit. And it's if you haven't taken a look already, they introduced this like blind deck challenge where you kind of submit your own deck. And there's what you do is you you know put your username and the deck and a guide and everything in as a comment. And then the thing is, my deck I I put some time into writing this and it was on my phone too, so it took a little bit of time. And it just kind of got lost in the sea of comments. There's like four thousand or more comments. So I just posted it separately as like a guide, and it's gotten a few upvotes already. It's doing all right. So you guys can go ahead and check that out if you want. Give it some upvotes to help me grow my channel because I also put links to my videos in that. Um, and you know, if it does well, I'm going to continue to post things on Reddit, and hopefully that'll help me uh, grow more of a viewer base because it'll lead people to my channel ideally. All right, let's go ahead and get back here. So I'm thinking at this point I'm going to switch up the deck. Let's do this other one. This one's a little bit um, more fun because I got the two legendaries. I got the E-Wiz and I got the Bandit. I got double Fire Spirits because I got the Fire Spirits and the Furnace. I got the minions in there because uh, I think it was running Mega Minion, but I switched it out for minions because I don't have it leveled on this account. So let's go ahead and jump on it. Alright. Give him good luck. Okay, so I placed down the furnace. That's usually going to be my ideal opener anyway. I think I'm going to cycle Bandit in the back. Now he hasn't done anything yet, so hopefully this isn't a dud. He might be throwing the match to drop trophies. I can't complain because I do the same myself. Um, so, I don't know guys. I think I'm just going to go... Oh no, there's the Mega Knight. Okay, he's in the game. Maybe that was his strategy. It was like try to get me to overcommit and then surprise me. But regardless, he's just spent 7 elixir on the Mega Knight and then another 4 on that Inferno Dragon. And I got a ton of damage off onto his tower. So that takes care of that. Um, I'll just send in the Fire Spirits to clear out whatever he might send in to counter this Royal Giant. Okay, thanks man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I do see a little bit of lag now. Um, if it continues to go, I think that adding that delay makes a big difference so I will probably do that from now on I just wanted to switch it back and and see how it goes let's see yeah I'd have to I'd have to pause or f cancel stop rather the stream to add that delay so maybe I will do that after this and hopefully that'll take care of it it's going good for a while. Okay. Again, busy looking at the chat. Okay. Get back in the game here. Bad furnace placement because I'm not paying full attention. That's the downfall of a lot of matches. It's like you really got to if you really want to win, you really got to like be in the game. You know, you can't be distracted by other things you got to make sure that you can focus on the game for a while and, you know react quickly and well and everything all right well hopefully bandit will take care of this giant here
Well, I think the thing is that the lag has like a a bit of a thing to do with the quality of my internet and the bandwidth that's going through. Um, I have pretty solid internet, but I also live with, you know, like two or three other people. So, oh boy, that Inferno Dragon's going to kill my tower. Oh, that was close. Anyway, it's over here. Anyway, so what I was trying to say is, um, since I live with a few other people, sometimes you know, somebody else might be using the internet and I might tie it up a little bit. And the uh, stream does require a lot of bandwidth to do its job and send everything out. So when I add that delay, it kind of gives it a chance to catch up a little bit, you know what I mean? And gives uh, you less chance of lag, which I prefer. It just doesn't allow me to react as quickly, but that's not as important to me. So we'll see if it continues to be a problem. I will switch it up again. All right, I'm thinking at this point probably Bandit. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I will Bandit, so that takes care of the Ice Wiz. And then minions hopefully will take care of the uh, Lava Hound. Yeah, definitely. Made quick work of him. I'm going to go ahead and Furnace over here. Minions doing work right there, dude. Awesome. Okay. Um, I think I'll... Yeah, why not Royal Giant? Just setting it out. Start getting some chip damage off on the tower. Alright, I got e -Wiz, so I just need that e -Wiz to connect to that Inferno Dragon. There we go. Awesome. That's really good for me. <clears throat> what does he have down there? Oh, it's a bandit. I couldn't even see it because my Royal Giant was too huge. just blocking the way. Big old dude. Um, I think bandit, and then I'll probably minions the Ice Wizard because he won't one-shot them since he's only level 1 anyway. And Bandit hopefully will connect to the... No, it's going to go to the tower. It's hoping for the princess. Anyway, that's actually not bad because it does a bunch of damage to the tower there. Alright, I'll fire spirits there. Hopefully that helps take care of the lumberjack. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, I got to get rid of that princess. Oh man, I had log in hand. I should have just logged it. <sighs> Such a noob sometimes. <laughs> it's alright. We all make silly mistakes. Um, okay, I'm not too worried about that Bandit. Looks like the lag's cleared up a little bit. I'm seeing like a little bit of lag spikes here and there. Alright. There we go. Time to send in another royal giant. Okay, princess is within log range, so I can log her from here. Hey, good luck on that, Elementor. You can get 3,700, and if you can't tonight, don't worry about it. Don't get discouraged. You know, try again another time. Um, have a good night, man. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it, the support. All right, Bandit's going to connect to the princess there. A royal giant there to distract him on the left so he won't be able to support the lava hound as much. Minions will take care of that lava hound, and hopefully Bandit will take care of the ice wizard. Yeah, I am definitely seeing some delay. So I'm going to add that 30 second um, uh, stream delay, and hopefully that'll take care of it. So in order to do that, guys, I gotta like kind of pause the stream here, stop it for a minute. So go ahead and rejoin here in a minute. I'm gonna do a few more matches after this.